Which one? Yes. That's a real one. Oh, this one, this one feels, this one feels real. Come on, come on, a turbo, come on. Come on, turbos. Oh, yeah, that's been a lot. Like turbo! Yes! Well done, Betty boy. Turbo in the net! Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Oh, 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 oh. Dogfish. Oh, no. <laughs> Jake! <laughs> no! Yes, Ben! Get in, guys. Hello and welcome back to the Ampty Angler and today we are going to do a quick rod review of the Penn Squadron 2 1220 boat rod. Um, I haven't done a review for a while and that's because I don't like to trial, or wrong, trial is the wrong word, I don't like to review anything until I've given it a good working over. Uh, so we've had this rod now maybe uh, eight, nine months, we've fished it now most of the year. Um, and I've now had a good go at it to be able to say the pros and cons of it. Um, I'm not one of these people that will get some ink because someone's given it to me or recommended it without giving a thorough go over myself. So we can do that now. So yeah, Pen Squadron 2, it comes in two pieces uh, and it's about seven foot long, seven foot two. Um, and it's a 1220 this one. 1220 I use for a lot of my fishing. Um, so I use it for my out, out deep in shore sometimes. Uh, it's, and 1220 is a good all-round sort of class rod, I find. It's um, got the screw-in butt piece there, so you've got a double screw thread. This one's a little bit grubby, needs a bit of a raking out. Um, but the reel sits on there nice and secure. It doesn't wobble around. It's got uh, the bulbous end at the butt there, and it's got the eyes on it. The eyes are actually really, really good. They're almost like ceramic eyes. Um, some of the eyes I've had on previous rods they're a bit sharp or they're a bit, they're, they're, they're all metal inlay and it tends to rust or they get a little chip in and go really sharp. This has actually been not too bad to be fair. It's got a nice foam handle so it's comfortable to hold um, and it's got a weight of 110 to 350 grams. Obviously you're not going to be casting with this other than a little flick out. Um, but I think they cost about 70 quid. So it's, it's, a, it's a real nice budget rod and for what, for what the money, for what it costs, it's actually pretty decent. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. I've, uh, I've inserted a little clip in here of me catching a fish. I actually did have the, the uh, ugly sticks and the ugly sticks were the 1220s. They were also quite good rods for the money. Um, but they, the, the tip action wasn't quite what I was after. And with this, the tip is actually quite, it's, it's quite a solid tip, but it's a bit of an all, a bit more all through action. So you get more of an overall bend in the rod as opposed to just being in the the top section, you actually get a bit more bend through the whole rod, which is what I, I personally like. Some people like it just in the tip, some people like it all the way through the rod. Um, so that was the reason for getting these, and I've got a pair of them. Um, so overall sort of opinions on them, yeah, I quite like them. They haven't done me wrong, I've had no problems with them. I haven't had any snap or any damage or anything like that. They're still, other than being grubby where I've used them, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. My only gripe, and it is a gripe, and it's something that has put me off of them a little bit, is the, the butt section is actually really short. I mean, obviously I suppose you say the butt is from there as well, but I always go from the real back. Um, and that section there is tiny, and I'm one of these people that when I'm, when I'm fishing, I like to have the, the rod under my armpit. So if I sort of demonstrate this a bit more, I sort of like to have it under there. Um, and the trouble with this is being so short, when I'm playing a fish, Whereas other rods, it would be under my armpit, almost locked in. This is such a short butt that I can't do that. And I almost have to, to push it in there to get the, the, the pressure on, to get the rod stable, if that makes sense. And if you've got a nice fish, sometimes it's nice to jam it under your arm and be able to play it that way. And I find with this, I can't do it. The other trouble with having a short butt on a boat, or my boat certainly, is when it's in the holders, because it's got that shorter butt, I like to fish out the back of the boat sometimes, or majority of the time, and because it's got that shorter butt, it naturally brings everything closer to the stern of the boat, so the lines are almost brushing the propeller, as opposed to being a bit further out. And that's got something to do with the overall rod length as well, but I haven't had any problems with rods of the same length that have got a longer butt, because it sticks out further away from the boat. So that's my only gripe with it, um, but, Genuinely, it's not a bad rod. I probably will stick to it. I was going to invest in a couple more rods, so I was going to get a pair of Kenzakis. But I think, to be honest with you, I don't want to keep chasing different rods every year and spending money and finding ones that, I, that are perfect because I don't think the perfect rod exists. I think there's always something 
that someone doesn't like about it. Um, so I will stick with these again for next year. So overall, solid rod, good for the money for 70 odd quid. And they won't do you wrong, no problems. Uh, I've been fishing a pen squall uh, reel with these. And I'm going to review that again shortly as well as a separate video. But overall, yeah, you can put whatever reel you want on these. It locks in tight. Some with these, some reel seats, the, the, the reels can wobble about. I haven't had that with this one, so that's good. But yeah, so if you're looking for a nice 12-20 boat rod that's not going to break the bank, the Penn Squadron 2 12-20 will do you good, and you can't go too wrong. Just be aware it's got a really short butt. So if you like a longer butt, this one's probably not for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.